So Racing the Sun is a competition run by U of A where they get high schools across Arizona, either in Phoenix or in Tucson, to construct a car that is solar powered with a solar panel involved that is fit for a person to actually drive around a track. One of the traditional critiques of, of education is that it's all book learning and the kids will work on problems that are rote or problems that don't require a level of creativity. STEM problems by their very nature require kids to start thinking a very cliche outside the box and a problem like engineering problems like this requires them to develop creative techniques, requires them to think about it. These are the kind of problems that kids are thinking about after school because they want to. When I see the kids and they're talking about, oh, we were working on like last Saturday, we've been working every weekend for the last two months on this, I get excited because these kids aren't just, they aren't just working on a problem, they are learning how to work on problems. And that means that they are, work, they are learning how to succeed at life. One of the things that we hear from the CEOs and the presidents of technology companies is their inability to find enough skilled labor uh, to meet their labor requirements. And part of that being skilled is to have a grounding in science and mathematics and technology. So this program is really designed to, to provide that kind of opportunity to students. And what it does is it gives the kids a hands-on experience. They get to actually work with something that's fun, that's practical. They can see it, that it's tangible. They get to plan their solar go-kart, uh, embed solar energy into it. I walked into this not knowing anything about it. Like, this is my first time. And now I have a knowledge, a basic understanding of what I'm doing. I think this has been a real beneficial experience because you can see something like go from, you know, paper drawings to like an actual car that you can drive. For the students to be able to design and make their solar go-karts, it takes a couple of things. One, they have to have a dedication to be able to design and put it together. It takes a lot of work. This is not as easy as it sounds. And they have a lot of troubleshooting and problem solving they have to do. So they really need to be dedicated. Um, it's also really important that they have a teacher who's dedicated to the project also because the teacher's the one that makes the opportunities happen for them to be able to get down to Tucson, out to the track, make sure they have access to a classroom or the lab where they're working to be able to um, build their solar go-kart. Well, it teaches them that it takes an entire team to do a project like this. You have everywhere from the design, the thinking it through, brainstorming, then drawing it, building it, then gear ratios is a whole other thing and the math involved with where, how fast can we go and then how do we gear it to make sure that that's how fast we're going. Then you have the deep people that are detail oriented and we need to make sure that they're checking every little wire that everything's plugged in. So I think the, the biggest overall thing is that, that each one is learning their little part but overall it takes a team to be successful. It takes a lot of teamwork. You have to work together with people and um, you really have to challenge yourself to get it done in time. You have to learn a lot about stuff you need to uh, have in later life. If you want to go off into a job in engineering, whatever, you have to learn all about all this stuff and just kind of like get your foot in the door. And I hope that this may become a national competition. You know, I think it could. One of the things that's exciting about Arizona, one of the five C's, you know, climate of course, we have excellent sunshine, and it really motivates the kids when they think about um, building go-karts because there's such opportunities here for renewable energy. As a national competition, Seattle might be, might be more challenging, but that's the great thing about engineering challenges, is you look at the challenge and you're like, oh, first you think this is impossible, and then you think, actually, wait, maybe there is a way we can do this. Could this become a national competition? I'd be excited to see in the next three to five years for it to become an Arizona-wide Arizona competition and perhaps involve other states as well.